Today is a sad day for the animals and plants that share the world with mankind. We are in the sixth mass extinction. The number one cause? Climate change. As you watch your president sign to deregulate climate change rules, a climate change denier, tell yourself this. We already reached a point where 140,000 animals and plants will go extinct this year because of us. So clearly we weren't doing enough and now we've decided we're going to do even less. At that rate mankind is going to be extinct in about 500 years. I presume all these numbers will start changing in the years to come as the US does even less to protect the animals and plants that we depend on to survive. You see we are part of a food chain, food pyramid if you will. We depend on animals and plants to survive. They shape the world that we live in. They give us the air we breathe, the food we eat. You know, as we see bees, bees disappear while they pollinate our food. Technology ain't gonna save us. You know, how do we reach a point where Kardashians are more important or the next cell phone is more important? This should be the number one news every day. Democracy is beautiful because it gives a voice to those who don't have a voice. And it's time to give a voice to the animals and plants that share the world with us, you know. They don't deserve to die. They've done absolutely nothing. They die because we're selfish. We do nothing. We we, we've been ignoring this for so long, we've probably reached a point where we can't do nothing, but at least we can try, you know. So I hope that the world and Americans will do everything in their power to fight Trump. This is not right. If there's a time in history where this is not right, it is now. You know, next year we may lose 300,000 animals and plants and it's just going to be exponential. Who gives us the right to kill and murder all these animals? You know, it's sad. It's a very sad thing that mankind has become so selfish. So freaking selfish not to care about the other things that share the world with us. We can't ignore this. We've ignored it long enough. It's time to fight and give a voice to the animals and plants who die because of our actions. We need to stop this now.